If you're a designer and you have a vision or an idea for your project, today you are not only limited to your own hard work and time to make it happen. With so much creative inspiration and resources at our fingertips, it has never been a better time to be a designer. With all the wonderful creative software and technology enabling our creativity, we have complete freedom to pursue our ideas, imagination, and bring them to life. Today, we seem to be increasing our creative potential and freedom, but one thing we will always be bound by is time. If you are a designer that works on a lot of projects and ideas, and likes to cover a lot of ground, one of the limiting factors is time. And as they say, time is money. Today, we are fortunate with a multitude of creative resources online, which we can consider for our work. Such creative resources do not just save us an enormous amount of time, but also enhance our creative arsenal. In logo design particularly, there is a lot of work that needs to be done, especially when presenting a proposal document to a client. Creating proposal documents and getting all the right photography to place our design in situ can be very time consuming. A technique to increase and accelerate your production is to consider using creative resources. These can be changed, modified and adapted to your specific needs, all the while saving you time and money while remaining unique to your creative vision and design. In this video, I'm going to discuss using pre-designed resources and templates for our logo design proposal documents and recommend a platform to check out. So let's get into it. So in logo design, the early part of the process will require a lot of work for discovery, research and design, which you will base your logo design on. After that, you will typically spend time on the artwork in process, bringing your design to life. Once you have a design in the bag, you will then need to prepare a proposal document to sell your design to the client. Now, this can be quite time consuming to get right, develop and include all the key visuals you need to really get the client excited about your design. As designers, we really want to spend as much time being creative as possible and not be bogged down too much having to create a proposal document. Thankfully today, we have some really great resources available to us, which can help save us time. To save time on the proposal document, you can consider using pre-designed royalty-free assets and templates. Today, it is not uncommon for designers to create templates and assets for the sole purpose of putting them on a creative resource library to be used by other designers. From proposal templates to in-situ visual mockups and typefaces, today there are a lot of creative website platforms offering a wide range of creative assets vital to logo design, which from a designer's perspective can be very resourceful, cost and time-saving. As a logo designer, you will always be looking to prepare a proposal document and include in-situ visuals to show your design in real life context. Now, a really good platform offering royalty-free creative assets is Design Cuts. Now, unlike most creative platforms, Design Cuts has amazing artists and designers creating high quality content exclusive to the platform, which cannot be acquired anywhere else. Design Cuts offers some of the best typeface, proposal documents and mockups at really reasonable prices, available not only for Adobe products, but Affinity and Procreate. These can not only help you with your logo design, but also help you develop an amazing proposal document to wow your client. Now, the great thing about using assets from creative resource websites like this is that they are royalty free. Once you get them, you know you are free to use them however you like, over and over again. Now, as a designer, personally, I love to develop as much of the design myself, but sometimes, when I find an asset that is perfect, that could not only save me time, but enhance my design, I won't hesitate to invest. When it comes to logo design, I will always get my in-situ visuals and quality typefaces from resource platforms like Design Cuts I can trust. Today, royalty-free assets are becoming more and more intrinsic to a designer's workflow and give us more capability and empowerment to be more creative. And with more designers developing more quality assets and templates for these platforms every day, it can make our jobs just a bit more easier. Later in the course, I will be demonstrating how I use pre-designed in-situ mockups and templates to create my logo proposal document for my client. 
If you would like to learn more about the variety of royalty-free creative resources available at Design Cuts, you can check out the link in the description, or you can check out the Featured Design Assets page on the course PDF document that goes with this course. All links are in the description. So if you're looking to save time on your logo design proposal document, I would recommend checking out Design Cuts as they have some amazing resources. As I have mentioned earlier, creating a proposal document can be quite time consuming if you attempt to do this from scratch. However, there are ways and techniques we can consider to help us. In the next video, I'm going to discuss the ways we can save time on this part of the process so we can spend more time on the part that we designers love the most, and that is being creative and developing our logo design. So see you in the next video. Thank you.